Hi guys, uh, greetings from Patel, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video session we are going to discuss about the construction of an isometric projection and the problem is like this, uh, draw isometric projection of x in the prism of uh, side of base 40 mm and height 60 mm with a right circular cone of base 40 mm as diameter and altitude 50 mm resting on its top such that the axis of both the solids are collinear. So according to the given condition, uh, we have a cone which is positioned centrally on the hexagonal prism. And when we are going to draw the isometric projections, or orthographic projections of the same, this is how we are going to get it. Now one can observe that in case of an hexagon, the four edges which are inclined. So we cannot draw these lines at the given inclination so that we have to do some necessary construction. That is, we have to enclose this in a box to get the uh, parallel isometric lines and then this is what those construction lines we are going to do it and these information we already discussed in detail and in depth in the previous sessions of the isometric projections and you can just uh, go through the same and then whatever the necessary dimensions are there I am just going to take those dimensions and let me show you how to construct the same now uh, let me construct uh, the distance of uh, 69 point uh, 28 at an angle of 30 degree, then 80 millimeter at an angle of uh, 150 degree, then again 69.28 at an angle of minus 150 degree. So this is uh, wrong. So slightly we have uh, missed out. So 69.28 at an angle of minus 150 degree, and then we will get back to the first position. Otherwise, 80 at minus 30, so that we will get the required hexagon. Sorry, uh, rectangle. In that rectangle, we have to locate the hexagon in this way. Now, I am going to plot the hexagon. Uh, so, the plotting of this hexagon in detail, we have already discussed in one of the basics videos. And you can please go to the same hand which is available at the link uh, in the comments box. Or in the description box also, it is available. You can please go to the same. And then make use of uh, the distance between command. The distance between these two lines are supposed to be locked up for 20. And again, the distance between these two lines is also 20. And in the same fashion, this is also be 20. And the distance between these two lines are also supposed to be 20 millimeter. Now, one can see that we have got the required uh, uh, hexagon as per our constructions. And after which, uh, to get the center of the hexagon, using a line command with a thickness of uh, 0 0.13, one can draw a construction line from the midpoint we have to locate the axis. The axis height of this uh, hexagon is 60 millimeter. So we will get this vertical height of 60 millimeter. And then uh, this is supposed to be in the form of a chain line. And afterwards, the base what we have created of size 40 millimeter is supposed to be on the top also. So we will relocate it at the top also. Then using a line command with uh, 0 0.5 and thing. So we will complete this. Uh, longer edges so that we are going to complete the constructions of hexagonal prism and about this hexagonal prism we are supposed to locate the cone of base diameter 40 millimeter so for which we have to construct a 40 millimeter ellipse for the construction of ellipse also we already discussed in previous sessions so now using that technique i am going to show you how to do the same it is 40 30 40 150 40 minus 150 and connect back to the first point and then uh, with respect to the midpoints to the opposite corners, we are going to draw a lines. So these are the construction lines to draw an ellipse using the command called as arc by center point, which, uh, which is called as a technique. This technique is called as the 4 arc technique. Now using this 4 arc technique, I am going to complete the construction of circle as an ellipse like this. So after constructing this ellipses, that is one ellipse. Now you can see that using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and a chain line with respect to the center. Now we know that the height or the altitude of this cone is given as 50 millimeter. So let me draw a 50 millimeter line and the apex should be connected point on element and tangent symbol again from here point on element along with the tangent. Now you can see that the cone construction is also completed. And all the construction lines I am going to remove it. And whatever the invisible lines are, edges are there, that also going to be removed from the cone. 
and then I am going to select the code using the move command move this code with respect to the bottom end point and switch off the copy it should be positioned properly in the top end point of the prism over here then after locating this the edges which comes behind this cone are supposed to be trimmed or it can be retained as a thin lines if it is required and after which this construction is going to complete the isometric view or drawing now using the isometric scale we will complete the isometric projection using the scale factor as 0.8164 now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects the isometric projection is completed as per the given conditions now if you have any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and kindly like this video please subscribe and share this video and you can press the bell icon to get the latest updates as and when it is going to be uploaded in the youtube once again thank you for watching my youtube channel